What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Blue Fox 22 coming at you with episode 19 of our modded LP series Achievement Challenge. So, when we last left off, we suffered some difficulties with the refined storage system, but those difficulties have been somewhat re uh, re relieved. I said relieved. Um, you get a speed upgrade, and you get a speed upgrade, and you get a speed upgrade, <laughs> and you get a speed upgrade, and that's it. And you can get a stack upgrade? No. I forgot what upgrades you can go into that, but that's, I digress, that's, hey. Come here. Uh... So, when we last left off, I said we were going to move, and I meant it because, well, this island sucks. Uh, there's not much on it. There's no village. Uh, we need certain things from villages that we can't get. Um, um, yeah, so we're, we're going to move. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm flying, I have the Swift Wolf's Rending Gale. This allows me to fly... Why is that on? Hmm, that's odd. It's not supposed to be... I, I know it's on because I'm flying, but it's not supposed to be on on like that. Hmm, that's odd. Uh, I mean, it has a shit ton of in internal storage, so I'm not worried about falling anytime soon. But anyway, um, today we are going to start RF Tools Dimensions. Um... We're going to need uh, two main things, really. Um, that's a dimension inscriber and a dimension builder. Um, why is this? Well, I made a mistake, and I was thinking about old school RF tools, uh, uh, old school RF tools dimensions when RF tools and RF tools dimensions were both the same mod. Um, the way that worked was back when it first started, when you got. A, when you went into a, a dungeon, um, there was a chance that the dimlets would be in the chest inside of a dungeon. That is not the case any longer. Uh, that should be off now. Okay, you're producing... No! Okay. Okay, good. So this is all set back up. I don't know what happened. I deleted one of my mods and it snapped out and all the energy condensers were wrong. I don't know what happened there. But uh, I just realized, do I have... I can't remember if the energy condensers go up one. Yes, they do. Mark twos. So we need red matter and dark matter. Red matter is ugh, very expensive. <laughs> Let's not think about that right now. That'll be something we do after we move. All right. So I have this still. This is backup storage for us. Um, there is a way I can link this with the uh, refined storage system, but I'm not worried about doing that anytime soon. This storage down here is going to be used for other means. This power bank is going to be used for other means. This 60 million RF is going to be used for our uh, dimension system. And we're going to use this to the best of its abilities for good reason. Uh, now this is heating up because I broke that, which that shouldn't matter. Why are you using power? You shouldn't be using any power. Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't care. You don't have any fuel. Oh, you guys can fight amongst the, the yourselves with that. Anyway, uh, I did finish the, um, uh, the gridstone system. Uh, went into one of the random um, dungeons, finished, found some weird items. I found some greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gas, yeah. I found some greenhouse glass. Um, or greenhouse glass, another mechanical user, and... Um, two pieces of manual in, in one of the chests, which is weird. Wait a minute. You're done already. 
That doesn't make any sense. How are you dumb already? Ah, God damn, damn it. And I've lost three of them. Oh well. Probably threw them by accident, but it doesn't matter. Um, those grew really, really fast. Hmm. Very interesting. Because before I logged off last time, and I didn't have the game on AFK, before I logged off last time, I harvested nine ender pearls from that. Hmm. Gotta keep my eye on those. Anyway, okay, so. In order to get dimlets, you have to make a random dimension first with a dimension inscriber. So let's figure out what we need for that. So our RF tools. Yeah, tools. Alright. So we're going to need dimension inscriber, builder, and editor. Let's get the dimension inscriber first. So in order to make this, we're going to need redstone. We're going to need paper. We're going to need ink. We're going to need a machine frame. And we're going to need an iron ingot. I bet you don't have any machine frames. Bingo, like I thought. I'm going to have to eat something. I keep forgetting that I'm no longer on normal. Or no longer on peaceful. I'm on easy. So I want to keep food on me at all times. So let's upgrade from that to golden apples. Yes, yes. Don't want my client star energy in there. I'm gonna have to fill that back up eventually. All right, so we're gonna need machine frames, which I'm pretty sure I have them in here. Uh, machine casing, I think that's what I'm getting confused for. Because I don't remember. No. And don't worry about auto-crafting and all that. We'll get into that later when uh, the time comes. Right now, I'm worried about moving. I'm not worried about... Uh, I need a lot piece. not worried about auto-crafting and all that. We gotta get out of this place. Um, it's starting to get on my nerves. It's starting to get a little weird how there's no... Uh, you. That's... I'm going to make one of you, because I'm going to send the other one. You can go in there, you can go in there, you can go in there. Machine frame. I make 62 of them. It's in somewhat of enough. Burn off some ender pearls. I'm burning more ender pearls than I'm actually putting into the AM system. That's sad. Uh, let's get rid of this covalence dust, because I really don't need it right now. That'll help. And give me back some energy in my client store. That's not enough to fill it up. Uh, let's see what's in the system that we can burn off. Um, let's see. Conduits we can... Wow, that's a lot of conduits. Um, we don't need that many conduits in the system. Uh, knife I can burn off. Uh, that's my special armor that I made. I'll keep that. Manual mill we can burn off. Don't see a lot of stuff we can burn off. If you're wondering, I got rid of the a couple mods um, for right now. Oh, those are importers. We do need one importer in the system, though. Uh, for the system, I should say. Not in the system. Uh, we got blaze rods, which is a good thing. We're gonna need those because I have better builders. I uh, have better I have any uh, any B on here, uh, not or any W, not enough ones. Any B, what the hell's an E B? Granted, we can get rid of. Uh, Dorite, I usually keep. It is a good substitute for some recipes for stone, so you can get rid of that. That and andesite, uh, dirt, we can definitely get rid of. Sand I'll keep because we can use it for auto crafting later on. Uh, dirt I can get rid of. Smooth sandstone I usually get rid of. You, you really don't use that for much. Alright, we're good. So we can throw some of this stuff. Machine frames, granite, smooth sand, dirt, polished granite, you, the knife. 
item conduits. I'll keep a stack on me. We'll do that. I don't need a super pick right now. I'll keep my shurikens with me. Hammer can go away in storage. Ender lilies can go in storage. Wireless transmitter can go in storage. And we'll keep the importer on us. Importer can come over here. No. Thank you. So the reason why I have the importer here is what I'm going to do eventually is I'm going to move these over one so it's not connecting with these because I don't want these snatching up items that it doesn't that it shouldn't use. Uh, I wish I could filter it. I mean I can filter it in here to say hey only take these items but I only have nine slots to use so yeah. And I have the crafting monitor down there so. All right let's see. Uh, there's only a stack in there, so I'll keep the stack of those in there. Energy conduits, I don't use those anymore. We bumped up from energy conduits, so those can get burned back into the system. Let's see, you're nowhere near full. So, all right. What I'll do is I'll suck this into my Klein Star, and then I'll burn off. Um, the wood, all that. Uh, these can go in here. How much attorney's fuel do I actually have? 57. No, give me seven of that. I'll give you seven, and you have seven. Okay. Because as soon as that's full, then we'll be good to go. It's 135 million RF, and it's gaining 90 RF per tick right now. And these, I mean, it's gaining something from this. I can't even tell how much. Its cap is 80, so it should be that bad. All right, so we have our machine frame. Um, what is this? It's energy conduits. You can get back in there. Oops. Okay, so let us Get our machine frame. Huh. Oh. Pfft. Well, if I burned off the attorney's fuel that I borrowed. Uh, let's get a stack of those. And let's make our dimension. Inscriber. Okay. So the cool thing about the Dimension Inscriber is that it doesn't need power. Um, where can we go to start this? I can fly, bitches! Oh, enemies. Why, hello. Love the shuriken. Infinite ammo. Very broken. But very fun. Alright, so let's go down here. And since we have power down here, we're going to need power for this lovely device of ours. Why not come down here where we're going to have a decent amount of power, you know what I mean? Okay, don't want no creeper traps, please. Okay. Mm, excuse me. Okay. So I was going to record yesterday. Today is Friday. I uh, hope you enjoyed our you know, Fr Tarago Fridays. Um, hopefully I'm going to be able to record tonight and later for RPG Sundays. The game. Uh, if you see the seen the update video, then you know what game I'm playing. If not, you'll just have to tune in on Sunday and find out. Now, won't you? 
So the Dimension Inscriber does not need, I'm gonna break the wall one more time because that's gonna drive me insane. Or better yet, just do this. Ah, ah, ah. And I'll bring up the Transmutation Tablet and I will burn all the excess crap that we don't need. And did I put a table in here, a crafting table? Doesn't look like it. I mean, I can get wood. Yeah, no, not covalence dust. Ugh. Okay. Let us grab. I know I put treasure chests in here. A gold chest. So I'll stick that there. And I'm gonna put random stuff I don't need right now in there. Clan Star can stay, Gold Apple can stay. Wood can stay, Dimension Inscriber can stay, Sword can stay, that can stay. Okay. So we have our Dimension Inscriber. What does it do? Well, it will take everything of this world that we're currently in, and it will inscribe it. Poor bastard. It will inscribe on a dimension tablet. So this, this is an empty dimension tab or tablet, whichever you prefer. And it will inscribe randomly everything about this dimension on that tablet and make a random dimension. So we're gonna need a, an empty dimension tablet. Problem is, well, we can't make it right away. There is one more item I'm going to have to get. Something I keep forgetting um, there's so many things I want to make that I can't because we're going to move and I might as well make it when we move. There is one more item that I do want. It is kind of important, you know what I mean? I mean, it's only part of, you know, Project E and I keep forgetting about it. But while we're here, might as well make a blank dimension tablet. And I want to put take one with us, but I'm also going to put one into the system. When I say system, I mean the uh, transmutation tablet. <laughs> okay. And the reason why I wanted this is if you... How did you get access to it? Uh, give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So for me, I had to figure out my con my key controls. Uh, v is charge. <laughs> That lets me uh, turn certain items into other items. We're not going to demonstrate it in here. That would be dumb. Uh, shift V is to decharge the Philosopher's Stone. If you hit I, for me, it opens up my 9x9 nine nine crafting grid. So now I can craft things 9x9 nine nine in the crafting grid. Like a treasure chest. I wouldn't do that, but I can. But I do want a crafting table down in the other area. So this is the other reason why I want the Philosopher's Stone when we're out and about. It's good. Uh, I should hold off on eating that. I'm not that weak. All right. So we have our Dimension Tab. Now, what are we going to do with the Dimension Tab? Well, we need a Dimension Builder to make what we need. So we're gonna need interpearls, an emerald, diamond, machine frame, and gold ingots. Luckily, some of these things we do have. Uh, I know emerald's not gonna be in the system. We're gonna need another machine frame which isn't in the system at all. It's back at the other base. So let us grab everything we're going to need. I'm just gonna grab a stack of those. I'm gonna take these diamonds with us. Take the gold with us. Uh, do I have any more gold? Yeah. And what else are we gonna need for that dimension builder? Emerald, which I already have on me. And the machine frames are over at the other building. Emeralds? You may be wondering, you don't have any emeralds on you. Uh where are you at? Holy crap, I don't have any emeralds? Or do I not have enough to make emeralds? Hmm. There's emeralds in the system. I purposely put them there. 
Haha! -ha. See, I didn't have enough to make it. So I just need another diamond. I need another diamond. There we go. Uh, controls for this, I uh, notice right click is half a stack. Left click is an entire stack. And then for me, middle mouse button is one. So, not the end of the world. Alright, so we have everything except for the machine frames which are in the other building. So what else are we going to need? Now, the other thing we can do to uh, help alleviate some issues is we're going to also need... Something that I really don't like using because it's really hard to get the necessary materials in order to use it properly. Where are you at? There you are. We're going to need a machine infuser. So let us... Where did you go? There you are. Uh, yet again, I have everything but what I need. So we're going to hold off on that. I don't have dimensional shards. Dimensional shards are not hard to get. Well, we're going to need the vein ore miner, something we're probably going to build later on. Now, I know we have to finish building the solar uh, the, the solar array, but we'll get to that. I want to get the dimension stuff set up as fast as possible. Because, like I said, I'm trying to shoot before episode 25, maybe episode 30, and that we're established in a new dimension. And we're getting the hell out of here. Because this place sucks. <laughs> Uh, and that's the that's the that's the joys of building a random dimension. You never know what you're gonna get. All right, so there are other things we're gonna need, but first let's head off over to the um over here to the uh, sub basement for our Ender Rift. Kind of appropriate that we're making dimensions of, under the Ender Rift. Don't you think? All right, so let's tear up the floor a little bit. Mm. Hopefully there's nothing under here and I don't fall to my doom. All right, so let's build this out. Uh, we'll snatch you up, sir. We'll throw you down there. I should build. The moving wand. It's not expensive. Teleportation, building, swapping. Select a block. No. Where are you at? Illumination. Displacement. Moving wand. Right click on. The, uh, right click to take a block. Right click again to put to on a block to place it down. I think that's the right one. Acceleration wand is broken. We'll get to that later. <laughs> Uh, master protection, freezing, and potion wand. So we want the moving wand. Ain't that hard! So we just need some redstone. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Get back in the system. So we're going to need uh, one core, which is blaze rods and gold nuggets. Three of those. I'm going to burn off that. I know I have gold nuggets in here, but I'm going to need a redstone. Where's the redstone at? <laughs> yeah. There we go. And I don't have gold nuggets. If not, I'll just take some of the gold that I brought with me and make gold nuggets. Why not? I'll just make nine of them. It's not the end of the world. And over here, uh, there's advanced cores, and it, there's wand cores and advanced wand cores. Yeah, we're not ready to make that. <laughs> so we'll just make the generic wand cores for right now. Um, yeah, I got one. Do I need two? Yes, I do. So I need more blaze rods. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, one, two. Thank you. And moving on. That's simple. And what does this do? Shift right click. Shift right click. 
makes life a hell of a lot easier, doesn't it? Uh, and it's infinite. So, yeah. Alright, so now we can access this chest while we're in here. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Alright, so let's burn off this Eternius fuel. That way we'll get some more stuff. Uh, I do want to make the Mark II condensers, but not right now. Uh, that's later on down the road. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, this series ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Alright, so let's make our... Let's see, where are you at? Um, 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 dimension Builder. We need the machine frames. Don't mind if I do. Just need one. Grab that. And we're going to set this up over here. This is going to need power, and it would help if you infused it. Now, this also applies to a redstone signal. So if you only want this to turn on with a redstone signal, then by all means, set it up to only active with a redstone signal. That way it doesn't use a power. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, we're going to need our advanced ones. <whistles> Energy conduit. Probably don't have enough for the enhanced ones, which is weird. <laughs> there we go. I have more than enough to make 64, so it was weird that it wasn't just showing up. Probably a system glitch. It happens. So now this has power, but remember, it's not infused. So it's going to not use power efficiently. Uh, if we come over to Dimension Builder, well, I'm surprised it doesn't have a tooltip for you know, not being infused. But, um, the key benefits of infusing stuff from RF tools, if you infuse this, it uses less power. Um, sometimes it, it doesn't um, draw as much power when you're dealing with a dimension. Stuff like that. But, okay, back to the dimension inscriber. So right now, since we're in the overworld, we're in our world. It has a seed. That seed is used by the dimension inscriber. To take a dimension, an empty dimension tab, put this empty dimension tab in a dimension inscriber, where you can construct a dimension using dimlets. Well, we don't have any dimlets. What that's going to do is it's going to pull everything from this dimension that we're currently in and make a random dimension. We can store it. And now we have a re realized dimension tab. Creation cost is 1,000 RF per tick. Maintenance cost is 10 RF per tick. And the tick cost is 100 RF per tick. Meaning, for every, for as long as we're in, you know, we have the dimension in here in the dimension builder, it is going to use 10 RF per tick. Its initial cost to actually create it is going to be 1,000 RF um, for the direct, for as long as it takes to create it. And um, I believe the tick cost after that is. I can't remember what tick cost is off the top of my head. Well, we can name this. We will just name it RAN1. Not exclamation point. And everything's okay with it. RAN1 is the name. And this is our first random dimension. So we plop this into the dimension builder. And it's going to build a dimension. Done. Now, right now, this dimension has an internal storage of, a, I think it's 100 million RF per tick. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, so 10 million RF. Um, it has an internal storage of about 10 million RF, I believe. Um, maintenance cost right now is 11 RF per tick. Um, since it's a random, right now, since it's building its internal storage, I think it's going to be 11 RF per tick. But since it was a randomly generated dimension it doesn't have a um any dimlets in it so it's not going to cost more uh rf per tick because of that so once it is you know we do start getting into you know messing around with the dimlets and stuff which are these 
then we'll run into you know cost like this one it's a uh, dimlet flat uh, creation uh, creation cost is 100 rf per tick added to the dimension maintenance cost is one r per tick and it's uh tick rate is one rf per tick and this affects the type of terrain that you will get in a dimension a dimlet you can't a dimlet can receive liquid and material uh, modifiers which have to come in front of the uh, in front of the terrain so if we want to modify the type of terrain so this dimlet would go um with rarity of zero so it's craftable let's say we have let's try to find a terrain one uh, material dimlet stone so we can put this in front of the terrain dimlet flat so that means that all the terrain in that dimension is going to be flat and it's going to be made of stone so if we wanted a cobble quarry in that particular dimension we can make that's how powerful the dimensions are we are in a world where there is just this island and nothing but sea all around us i don't know if there's more land beyond that but all I know is that we're stuck on this island with nothing. So we have to leave. So I'm going to build on... I'm going to, you know... Hopefully we're going to be banking on random dimensions. Now you're probably wondering... Will we ever come back here? Yes, we will. We have to. But you're also probably wondering... Well, how the hell did we get there? I'll explain it to you in just a sec. Now you may be noticing... The huge power drain on this. We had 60 billion RF. <laughs> yes, this thing is a power hog. That thing right there. As soon as this internal buffer is full. Um, so, I can't remember how much RF storage that is. It's not 10. It might be 50. Um, this will fill up. And this has 100 million RF per tick. Or was it 100? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, 10 million RF per tick. Um, so we'll have a backup of about 60 million RF per tick, plus another 10 to 70 million RF per tick, which isn't a lot for this system. But you're probably wondering, all right, Blue Fox, you rambled on enough. How the hell did we get there? I'm glad you asked. No, 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 no diamonds. All right, so let us cover this up. Because we want this to look professional. So you're probably wondering how the hell do we get there. Alright. Let us move this aside. Huh, I love the moving wand. It's so broken. Uh, just be careful about what you move. Some things, some mods don't like the moving wand and it will crash your game. It's not pretty. Just trust me. All right, so we're going to put it over in that general direction, but I want this to be three by three. So let us break some things. I know I'm not supposed to be using this on sand, but I don't care right now. Yes, yeah, just what we want to invite intruders. Just let the intruders in, why don't you? When you live in a barn, close the damn door. All right, so, eat my golden apple. And let's dump off some of the garbage that we don't need. Yeah, I'll throw that golden nugget in there and the redstone. All right, so next up, we are going to need a matter transmitter, a dialing device, and a matter receiver. But the first thing we're going to need is an advanced charged porter. What is an advanced charged porter? That is a lovely little device that allows us to travel back and forth between, well, not just dimensions, but teleportation locations as well. Um, where are we at? That is a phase field generator. Where are we? 
Hmm. Ah, there we go. So we have the charge porter, and then we have the advanced charged porter. The advanced charge porter uses blocks of redstone, diamond, and the charge porter. The only difference I believe with these is, let's see. Charge porter, this RF slash charged item allows you to teleport to a previous set matter receiver, sneak right click on your receiver to set the, de the destination, right click to perform the teleportation. Um, the only difference between these is how much power they hold. This will probably get you one teleportation in each direction, and if you have no way of charging it, this will give you about a crap ton. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so we're going to need a matter receiver, a matter transmitter, and a dialing device. So, let us get going with a matter transmitter. Alright, let's see. We're going to need the matter transmitter. This is going to need... Okay, first off... A lot of stuff in our tools needs a lot of ender pearls. So if you don't have an ender pearl, ender pearl, ender pearl source, an ender pearl source, you're going to need one immediately. All right, so I'm going to drop, grab my ender pearls, grab my machine frames. Uh, I'm going to head to the house and I'll meet you over there. Be right back. You're burning about. What the fuck was that? I think that's a witch. Something I haven't something I haven't encountered in a while. That kind of freaked me out when I was down in the basement. I heard. <laughs> oh, I'm killing you. Taste shotty gun! Don't mess with the ninja fox. And no, I am not another dog. He wishes he was me. Anyway, let's get back to the base. And we'll make the matter transmitter and then we'll call it an episode for today. Because I'm going to need two matter transmitters. Because I want one here at the main base. And I also want one at the old base as well. So let's make this real quick. Uh, I can throw that in there. Let's make the matter transmitter. Not hard. Um, what the? What? Oh, it's not a system. It took it from my inventory, which is nice. It does take from your inventory first, or the it before it takes from the system. So it's a it's a it's a good bonus to have. We're gonna need the matter receiver. Um. Let's see, do I want, I want one at the base, one in the basement, and one at our location. So we're going to need three of these, and I have to make another matter transmitter. Okay, luckily we have, <laughs> luckily we have the under pearls. I got 28 left. All right, and we're going to need a dialing device, which we're going to need three of those. Now, I am a man who has watched Dire Wolf 20 religiously, and I will tell you right off the bat, get a destination analyzer, at least one. So we're, this is going to be in our basement, because I'm only going to teleport between here and the basement, or here, and if I decide to, the... Um, you know, the production fa facility over there, which that stuff, this stuff right here is going to go over to the production facility, and then I'll figure out what we're, what we're going to do with that room. It's probably going to remain empty, because I want to dump stuff off in here. This is why we haven't made the, um, a lot of stuff with actually additions, like the Empower and all that. We haven't done anything with that, because we're moving. Alright, and this is the other reason why I wanted the moving wand. It makes it easier to do this. I want to do that, and then I can pop it down right here and then suck everything into the system, which I don't want to do right now. And then I also have the dump chest over here, which, you know, I'll go mining or go hunting or whatever, and then I'll dump stuff off here in the chest, and then it'll go right into the system. 
All right, so we do want at least one uh, destination analyzer. That lets you know if that dimension you're going to go to is good enough to go into. If it ain't good enough to go into, it'll tell you. Like, there's not enough power over there or whatever. Now, the other thing we're going to need is power over in our uh, new dimension. Hmm. I can't remember what the booster does. Does the booster help with anything? I know I'm cheating here. Let me see if it's in the system. My book. It should be in there. Actually, additions. I never made my book for R of Tools. What? No, I feel dirty doing that. Let's take one. Uh, really? Uh, I know what I need. I need a book. Uh, Project E to the rescue, man. I remember Equivalent Exchange when it first came out. It was so broken. It's To me, it still is a little bit, but it is still the baddest fucking mod you will ever use for for your for your modded experience when you're playing Minecraft. You know, there are other mods where you do have to work a lot for things, but getting, you know, spending the extra, you know, a couple of bucks and getting a, a, a couple of bucks, spending, a, you know, an extra couple of mod, you know, moments, making a system where you can get infinite EMC to a point. Yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> because this cobble gen system that I have, it's broken. It, it's very broken. If I just wanted to, I can sit here and make alchemical coal all day long. I can make the system as big as I want. I could stack it up if I want to. I can expand it that way. I can expand it that way. You know, I can make an infinite coal generator. And, you know, granted, cobblestone isn't the best thing to use to make AMC. But with that full gold chest, now I can expand that into a diamond chest. I got one Eternius Fuel. With a diamond chest, I could probably get ended with two Eternius Fuel. And mind you, these are Mark I condensers. These aren't Mark II condensers. So, yeah. I think Mark II condensers, a single piece of cobblestone, its EMC value is double. So, it's worth two. So, a stack is not worth 64. It's worth uh, 128. Yeah, <laughs> so I can end up with two pieces of Eternius Fuel, and imagine in the next setup we're, we're going to do when we do get the Mark II's, I'm probably going to make one Mark II, and then several Mark I's, and then have it go down the line. This whole setup right here, I might go back and look at see how I can build a decent dark room. This setup right here, that's going to be over down there, and after Eternius Fuel, it's dark matter, and then red matter. <laughs> So, you're going to be making a lot of stuff in the near future. This series isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Alright, so we have our matter transmitters, our matter receivers, our dialing devices. Before we end the episode, I am going to... I'm going to check out the booster real quick. I'm going to read through this book real quick. See what the booster does. And then before we call in an episode, I we're going to put up that solar... Um, the solar array from environmental tech and I'm going to see what achievement we can do because like I said this is an achievement challenge series we have to do our achievements it is the whole purpose of this new series for the new year so far we've been doing really well we're going to have to dive into you know making potions brew a potion I have a brewing stand We've went to the end. We've got the ender egg. Now we have to go fight the wither soon. But we're not knowing until we move. You know, a lot of the end game stuff for Minecraft, Minecraft, we're not, we're not, yeah, it's not going anywhere until we move. You know, we got a cake. We made a cake. <laughs> we do have to breed two cows. Um, we have to get a pig. We, I have a saddle, so we have to ride a pig off a cliff. Um... This one's pretty difficult, you know, kill, we have to sniper a skeleton, kill a skeleton with an arrow for more than 50 meters. I believe that's, what, 100 blocks in Minecraft, 50 to 100 blocks in Minecraft. So it's not too, too difficult. But, you know, I do want to get in Batania, but not until we move, because Batania is a really big mod all in its own. And there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do in Batania. You know, we still have a lot of stuff to do with this series, and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 
I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, need some things real quick. Oh, yeah, wrong item. Dum dum. There we go. So those of you who are of roughly, you know, 20 and older, who remember the Flintstones, every now and then I'll do a running joke of when I make a mistake or when um, I say something that's completely wrong or I catch myself uh, doing something. And I will call myself Dum Dum. That is a reference to the Great Kazoo from... Uh, the Flintstones. So, just to clarify, you guys, I know it's wrong to, you know, call yourself a dummy or stupid or whatever, but for me, that's just the way I am. I would never go out my way and call someone stupid, but I will literally call myself stupid. It is perfectly human to have a lapse in judgment. It happens. We're human. But when it costs you your job, or you your life, or, you know, it costs you a relationship with someone that you really care about, then I'm not going to do it. But you should call yourself stupid. <laughs> and I take it, I take wholeheartedly the, the words of Philip DeFranco when he says, you know, don't be stupid, stupid, or stop being stupid, stupid. There's times where it needs to be happen, and where it needs to happen, or it needs to be said. And I will call myself out, and I will call myself dumb dumb every now and then. So that's where that comes from. So don't worry. But what I was doing is I needed certain items to make a um, another. I don't even know why I came over there. We're not putting it there. We're putting it uh, here ish. But. There's another item we're going to make in the next episode. So, uh, damn door. Oh, now, when I was in between episodes, we almost had an incident, and we almost lost part of a good chunk of our base. Um, I had to change these pressure plates, because I was sitting here, and just mind my business. I was inside the tablet, and all of a sudden, I heard the door open, and then I turned around, and it ran. Luckily, he didn't come through the door. There's a creeper, just chilling. Outside the door. Tried to come in. Changed his mind. Got bored. Yeah. Bad things almost happened. But anyway, um, I have to make another solar cell. Why, you ask? Because I got ready to make our lovely little device, and I forgot that uh, I needed it. But we're also going to need a dimensional transceiver. And in order to make a dimensional transceiver, we're going to need an ender crystal. Why an ender crystal, you asked? Because we're going to need to be able to transfer this power to something else. Uh, we really do need ender tr uh, dimensional transceivers. Now, we're at the point where we really do need them. Uh, I was going to put it over there, but I like it over here better. It's a good spot. Um, you know what? Let's stick it over here, because we're not using this area for anything. This is where the Empower was going to go. But I'm not using this area for anything. So, might as well put it there. And let's make this. These go in the corners. This goes here. Now, this is a Tier 1. I will be making a Tier 2. Later on down the road. Just not right now. Uh, why do I have the six photovoltaic cells? It's not needed. Alright, so solar array. The solar array is a multi-block generator that generates energy from the sun. Any block above any of the solar cells must allow light through. Uh, modifier effect using the piezo modifier allows solar cells and the solar panels to generate energy from the vibrations caused by rain. Meaning, when it's raining out and there's no sunlight... Excuse me, and sunlight efficiency is cut in half. They will make up for it by using the piezo uh, modifier, which, in all honesty, to use the piezo modifier, you need. I hear a zombie, and I don't see a zombie. It's probably underneath where the minecart's at. Um, in order to use the piezo modifier, you have to get uh, mica, and mica can only be gotten through the use of the 
or resource miner. So, you're probably wondering how we're going to do this. Well, first off, we're going to dig out an area. I'm going to use the Paxel for this, it'd be easier. We're going to dig out an area here. Now for this, I'm going to switch it up and do this. That'll go there. And this mod is very simple. As long as you have the items in your inventory, it doesn't have to be on your person or anything. As long as you have the items that you need in order to get this started, it will build for you as long as you have the assembler. This is what the assembler is for. The assembler automatically builds and destroys the uh, structure that you're building and environmental tech. In this case, hold or spam right click on a controller to assemble the multi-block. Shift right click in survival will instantly break any multi-block. And in creative, it will instantly destroy the whole multi-block structure. Left click on any controller to be given a list of all required blocks for any multi-block structure. In this case, boom, it tells us we need 16 structure blocks uh, where's my structure blocks at? Ooh, I have to go find them. They're not in here. We're going to need nine solar cells, which we do have, and we're going to need four modifier cores. All right, where's my structure blocks at? I'll be right back. All right, I am back. So, all I have to do is sit here. You can hold right click or you can spam it. I prefer you hold right click. It's less wear and tear on your mouse. Done! Achievement get! Entry level solar array! So now we have the nine solar blocks sitting here collecting energy from the sun. We have our lovely solar panel here. So we have it built. Multi blocks assembly complete. So you're probably wondering, well, how do you know you're gaining power? Simple. We are gaining 2,880 RF per tick, and that's because we're past high noon. It's not as efficient right now. Normally what I would do is put it on a building, which I might move it up here. We'll see. But, yeah. The more direct sunlight it gets, the better. So this will slowly change as the sun goes down, but we are gaining a decent amount of RF per tick. And what I'm going to do is change this so we can actually see it. So yeah, 2,880 2, RF per tick is not bad for free. We're not burning anything. We're not using up any resources. We're just getting this straight from the good old sun right there. Our lovely buddy. Oh, SG, I miss you sometimes. No, I don't. <clears throat> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting there. I know um, this is going to be a long, arduous process, but look how far we've come in 20 episodes. Well, episode 20 is next, but I digress. Look how far we've gotten. We have an EMC production going on. It'll be, you know, redone and revamped, so it's a little bit more efficient. We have a redstone farm going on. You know, granted, I had a little help from roguelike dungeons, but I'm not complaining because that... You know, that greenhouse glass is pretty difficult to make. Uh, let's see, where are you at? Greenhouse glass. Yeah. Empire Palace, crystal block, and, you know, some saplings and some quite good glass. The hard part is getting this Empowered Palace crystal. You know, you, got, you need the Empower for that. And it's Prismarine, which is not easy to get because reasons um it's easier to get now because you know nether quartz which i mean now that i know that i mean we can make power cells <laughs> um we can make uh i mean once i get a piece of prismarine i can burn in the project e system and we're good to go so yeah all right ladies and gentlemen stay tuned episode 20 is coming sooner than sooner than later more Terraria is coming. Uh, had a little bit of a snafu with 
of Fallout because of the mods. So give me some minute with give me a minute with that. Uh, probably no, probably not next week. You will see some. Probably not next week. You won't be seeing any Fallout, but I'll hopefully have some random game reviews for you. Probably a little bit more super hot, super hot. But uh, yeah, also. I did the, the announcement video. The contest is on. It is a 40 count deck. Mandy's pick. Please, 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 if you're interested, join in. We have two people so far. It is awesome. I thought I wasn't going to get many. Last contest, didn't get many people in. So we're going to, you know, push and hopefully get more people in for this one. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. As always, I'm your host, Blue Fox 22 As always, stay safe, stay as healthy as humanly possible, and above all, stay foxy. Don't stare into the sun, and you will go blind. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!